Thank you for clicking into ClickOrlando.com, and this is Just Weather. The big news around Central Florida, not only how beautiful and wonderful the weather was today, but unfortunately it's so dry that our fire danger is just out the roof. In fact, it's highest in the areas you see here in purple. Seminole County and over in Brevard County, those are the ones that are the most dry and has the most fire potential. You see a lot of the areas in red, too. It is just going to be dry. It's going to stay dry, and I don't see any really any rain coming our way for the next seven days, so please be careful out there. And but enjoy your Sunday and the Sunday is going to look really, really good. Overnight will be clear and cool and then to, tomorrow, Sunday, great day. And then uh, dry weather kind of hangs around mild temperatures too. We don't get back to the 90s just like we did about, you know, six, seven days ago, but we are going to stay bone dry. Maybe a couple of coastal showers sneak in now and then so we start shifting the winds around to a more coastal Atlantic breeze. 77 was the high on Saturday in Orlando. Normal's about 81, so we were actually a little on the cool side. I think we'll get closer to that for Sunday. Lots of sunshine around. The high pressure system here kind of scoots on off to the east, and as it does, it's going to change the direction of the winds. It's going to make moisture come back into the atmosphere. That will be a little more helpful to combating fires, but the main thing is we don't want to start them in the first place. So be careful. Small craft advisories are not enforced, but small craft caution is advised. And then we also have rip current problems. Yeah, moderate rip current problems if you're headed to the beach. And you'll find these conditions prevail. 75 is going to be the air temperatures, or 74 for the water temperature. Surfers, there's not much to play with for tomorrow. Boaters, we've got some improved conditions. Still, there's going to be a bit of a chop on the intracoastal, so be cautious. 74 is the water temperature. Temperatures overnight will be dropping to 51 degrees out in Daytona Beach and Palm Coast, 52 in Sanford, 53 in Kissimmee, 45 for Ocala. Another chilly start to the day, but Orlando's probably going to drop down to 52 for an overnight low. Clear and cool. Here's what's going on tomorrow, hour by hour. First of all, take the top down on your convertible and enjoy an 80 degree temperature by 4 o'clock in the afternoon, but we'll start out around 57. We make it to 74 by noontime and 80 degrees by 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Seven day forecast shows that micro rain I was talking about. Yeah, it's going to hang around for the entire week. Got a 10% chance there Friday and Saturday. I think that's mostly over on the coast. Temperatures stay below 90, but we get back into the mid 80s by the end of the week. That's a look at the weather. I'm Danny Trainer. Thanks for stopping by.